Hey guys, we're doing language class. Go ahead and turn to page 153 and 154. That is your book report. And I just wanted to make a little quick video going over some of the things about the book report so that we know what we're doing. You're going to want to have your secret in the maple tree book. So if you do not have this book with you right now, pause the video, go and find your secret in the maple tree book. So um, number one in your book report, is asking the title of that book. Of course, title of the book is Secret in the Maple Tree. So make sure that gets written down. And since it is a title of a book, make sure you underline it because when we have the title of a book, it gets underlined. I know that we mentioned that before. Um, the second thing is asking the author of the book. If you turn to that first page in Secret in the Maple Tree book, it shows you the author's name right there. So make sure that you write down the author's name. Now it's also asking the type of book. Now here's what you need to ask yourself. This book is either going to be fiction or nonfiction. So did this book really happen? Are these events things that actually happened? Now, they seem to be things that could happen, but they most likely didn't actually happen. The author just made the story up. It's from the author's imagination. So what do we call a book from the author's imagination? Right, we call it a fiction book. And even if you wanted to get a little bit more specific than just fiction, this book has a lot of Christian ideas and principles in it. So you could call this book a Christian fiction book if you would like. So make sure that gets written down. The number of pages, well, just turn to the last page, not the last page in the book, the last page that has uh, a story on it. So make sure you write down that page number, and that tells you how many pages are in this book. Uh, number five is asking the main character of the book. Now, who is the main character of Secret in the Maple Tree? Right, that's Hilda. Don't just write Hilda's first name. She has a last name, too. What's her last name? Right, it's Hilda Johnson. And if you look on this family tree, you see Hilda's right there at the top. And at the bottom it says the Johnson family, so we know that her name is Hilda Johnson. Um, they're also asking you to write two sentences to describe what the character looked like. So what did Hilda look like? We have maybe some descriptions in the book, some pictures in the book that kind of tell you what Hilda looked like. So make sure you write two complete sentences. Make sure you're using capital letters at the beginning of the sentences. Make sure you're putting periods at the end of the sentences. They should be periods because that's just a declarative sentence. Hilda had blonde hair. That's a declarative sentence. You could use that one and then you need to come up with another one on your own. They also want you to write two words that describe the kind of person the character was. So what kind of person was Hilda? Was she mean? Um, was she nice? What kind of person was she? So come up with two words. There's uh, more than just two words that can describe Hilda, so I'm not going to go through um, and describe what Hilda was like, but I want you to come up with two words. You read the book with us, so you should know what Hilda is like. Come up with two good words that can describe Hilda. Ask what kind of person is Hilda, and then write two adjectives, because we're asking what kind of a person is she. So two adjectives that can describe Hilda that tell me what kind of person she is. They also want to know if the main character changed in the story. Well, if we look at the first chapter in the book, Hilda um, is praying that there's not going to be a new mama, and she's kind of worried about this new mama, and uh, just kind of read that first chapter again to get a good idea of what Hilda was like at the beginning of the story, and then go to the last chapter in the book. Um, the last chapter in the book starts on page 144. Go ahead and read the last chapter of the book to get a good idea of what Hilda is like at the end of the story, okay? And that will kind of give you a good idea of if Hilda changed in the story. And then if Hilda did change in the story, how did she change? What about her was different from that first chapter to that last chapter? What about her was different? Maybe she went through some things in the story that changed her and you kind of might want to think about what things she went through that might have changed her 
Um, and then number six, this is going to be the longest part of the book report. So if you turn in your Secret in the Maple Tree book to page 252 and 253, they have right here, it says beginning, and it tells you what chapters is the beginning of the book. So it says beginning of the book is chapters one through six, and that's the beginning part of the book. And they want you, in your own words, tell about each part of the book. I want you to write at least three sentences telling what happened in the beginning of Secret in the Maple Tree. And then the middle of the book is chapter seven through 13, is what it says on this page. The middle of the book is chapters seven through 13. And they want you, if you turn on page 154, they want you to write something about what happened in the middle of the story in your own words. Again, I want you to write at least three sentences about what happened in the middle of the story of Secret in the Maple Tree. And then if you turn over to page 154, it says the end of the book is uh, these chapters, chapters 14 through 19. That's the end of the story. And again, in your book report, I want you to write three sentences about what happened in the end of the story. So that's three sentences for the beginning, three sentences for the middle, and three sentences for the end. And then number seven, the author, or number seven, what do you think the author wanted the reader to learn from this book? So maybe, what is something that Hilda learned from this book? There's a lot of different things that Hilda learned from this book, and maybe there are things that we could also learn from this book. So maybe uh, it might be a good idea for you to go through this story again. If you've been keeping up with the back of the book that we've been doing for seat work, um, this should be very easy because you can just look through and read uh, these, and these should be maybe one or two sentences that tell what happened in each chapter and maybe something Hilda learned, and maybe it will spark something for you to remember, oh yeah, Hilda learned a lesson about kindness, or Hilda learned a lesson about forgiveness, and maybe that will help you write something for number seven. I want at least one good sentence, complete sentence, so that means capital letter at the beginning, and mark at the end, one good sentence for number seven. And mom and dad, you might help me out with this. This page needs to be ripped out of the book. So normally I don't want you to be ripping pages out of books, but this page does need to be ripped out of the book and sent home with those tests and quizzes to school for me to take a look at. And this will be a quiz grade.